Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today we're going to make the braided cable Christmas tree skirt. Let me go ahead and show you some photos of this right here. For this project, I'm going to be using Paint Box Yarns Simply Erin, and this is 100 grams in each ball, or 3.5 ounces, 184 meters, or 201 yards per ball. This is a number four, or a medium, also known as worsted weight yarn, or Erin weight. And the number of balls that I'll be using, you'll see printed right across the bottom of your screen as well as written in the pattern which is available on my website. I'm also recommending that you have a size L or 8.00 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I recommend that you have a pair of sharp scissors and a yarn needle handy. This project is going to be crocheted by holding two strands of your worsted weight yarn together throughout. Hence, that's why we are going to be using an oversized size L or 11 or 8.00 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, to begin, we're going to work a slip knot and the starting chain of 48 chains. Once you've completed your chain of 48, we're going to begin row one by working a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And we're going to work a double crochet in each chain all the way across the row. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 45 double crochets. And just for the record, that's not including the chain three at the beginning of the row. So this is what you should have after row one. Now we're going to turn, chain three, and we're gonna work one double crochet in that first stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, and that's gonna be your repeat all the way across one, double crochet in the next stitch, two in the next. And you are going to see this start to curve on you just a bit, and that is normal, that is a good thing. So go ahead and work that all the way across. At the end of row two, just work a double crochet in that last double crochet. Do not work in the turning chain. You should have a total of 67 stitches, not including the chain three at the beginning, and it should be curving around for you just about like this. All right, so now we are ready to begin the braided cables. So now we're ready to go on to row three, which begins the braids. We're gonna chain three at the beginning double crochet in that very first stitch. We're not skipping any stitches here at the beginning. Now we're ready to begin the braids. We're gonna wrap our hooks twice to prepare for a front post treble crochet. Skip the first two stitches, and for a post stitch, we're simply gonna stick our hook around the body of the stitch. The hook is gonna go all the way around the body, and then we complete the treble as we normally would. The main difference is it's not worked into the top loops, but it's worked around the body, giving it a belt, as it were. Okay, so we're gonna do that in the next stitch as well. You can see how the hook goes all the way around. Now also keep 
keep in mind that it's down below. It's not up through this region. It's more around the waist of the stitch. And do be sure that you get all of those strands. After working those two stitches, we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we first skipped. Coming all the way in front, do the one that's furthest away. And then the next stitch, which is right here. So make sure that you front post treble around those two stitches that you skipped. And be careful that you, again, are pulling through um, all the loops. Okay, now we're going to front post treble in the next two stitches without skipping. So the braid is going to have six stitches. Okay, I know it doesn't look like a braid at the moment. It will once we complete a couple more rows, but this is what you should have. Okay, now we're going to work three double crochets and we're going to work them in the space between the last stitch and the next stitch. So this is not exactly worked in any stitches up top or even post stitches, but in between stitches. So we're going to work three double crochets. Just like that. Okay. Again, make sure that these are in between stitches and not worked in to the tops of stitches. If you work them into the tops of stitches, your stitch count will not make any sense at the end of the row. Okay, so we're going to do this across the row. Skip the next two stitches, front post treble, and the next two stitches. Working in front of those last two stitches, we're going to front post treble over this stitch and then this stitch. And then front post treble in the very next two stitches. This is for stitch number five and six in the braid or the braided cable. All right, after we do that, again, working between the last stitch and the next stitch is the space in between. We're gonna work three double crochets. Okay, and so this is what it should look like. I'll hold it back a little bit further. So go ahead and repeat that across the row. This is what you should have after completing row number three. You should have 11 braids started. All right, on to row number four. We're going to chain three. We're going to double crochet in that first stitch. Now we're going to continue to work over the braids and we're gonna do it in this manner. We're gonna skip the next two stitches and we're gonna back post double crochet over the next two. And these are the two that are kind of on the surface. You can feel these with your uh, nerve endings in your fingers. So back post, treble, and the next one. These are the ones that are on top on the back side at this point. Okay, now, this is where it's a little bit tricky, but I'm going to take this slow and try to explain. Now, working in front of these two stitches as seen from the front side. This is the back side facing us, so the back, the front side is on the other side from us at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring these around, and we're going to back post treble first in this stitch, making sure we get both of those strands. And then the next one, which is right beside. And again, I'm using the nerve endings in my thumb and, and uh, tall man finger to kind of guide my hook to know where these stitches are. And I'll, I'll flip this around for you in just a second. After that, we just do the next two stitches, which are right in front of us. Again, using your 
thumb and finger to find these. Make sure you do two of these. And the second one is right here. Okay, so let me turn this around so that you can see the front side. So now you can see how the braid is coming. So when I say from the, as seen from the front side, even though it's facing away from you, you can see how these second two stitches crossed in front. Okay. Now working over the three double crochets, we're going to work a double crochet in that first stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, and one double crochet in that third stitch. So for the double crochet section, you should have a total of four stitches worked over those three stitches. We're just gonna gradually increase the section as we go. And I'll do this for you one more time. Skip the next two stitches, and here are the two that are on top. We're going to back post treble in these two first, Now working in front of these two stitches as seen from the front side, I'm gonna flip this back and show you. We're gonna work this stitch, working at back post, treble crochet, and then the next stitch. And again, you can see how these are worked in front when the front side is facing. And then back post treble in those next two stitches. Having to do a lot of yarn pulling uh, with these two different strands of yarn as we go about here. All right, so that brings us to the three double crochets. And again, one double crochet in that first stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, and then one in that next stitch. Okay, so this is what you're gonna work all the way across. So go ahead and finish row four and let me give you some instructions as you approach the end. We are going to work a double crochet in that last stitch and I'll do that with you when we get to that point. At the end of row four, work a double crochet in the last stitch. Do not work in the turning chain. Let's go ahead and turn. We're gonna chain two, and we're gonna work a double crochet in that first stitch. Now working over, over the braided area, we're gonna skip the next two stitches and this is the second row when the braid is facing us and you should be able to see this coming together a little bit better. So we're going to work front post trebles in those next two stitches after we skip the first two. And now working in front of those two stitches just like we've already done before. Front post treble in the two stitches that we skipped. and then front post treble in the next two stitches. Now make sure you may have to find them as the next two stitches here and they are hiding behind these other stitches. So you may need to locate them with your thumb and finger. There are two of those. Okay, now we're gonna continue. We're gonna work two double crochets in the next stitch. This is working over the double crochets. And then we're gonna work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So 
So that is going to be your repeat across the row. Again, skip two, front post treble in these two, working in front of those stitches, front post treble in these two, and then front post treble in the two stitches that are next to it, working in the double crochets, two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, and one double crochet. So go ahead and work that across. Row five ends by working a double crochet in the last double crochet. Go ahead and chain two. And we're going to turn. Work one double crochet in that first stitch. And again, working the braid, this is with the back side facing us. Skip the next two stitches and back post treble crochet over the next two stitches. Make sure we get both of those strands. There we go. And working in front of these as seen from the front side. So we're going to come around this way and work back post trebles first in this stitch. A little tricky make sure you get through all the strands there we go and then the next stitch which is right here the first two that we skipped and then back post treble in the next two which are right here you may again need to use your finger and thumb to find where those stitches are All right, and then now we get to the double crochets. We're still continuing to add stitches. We're going to work two stitches in the first double crochet. And then, get that out of the yarn, um, we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next four stitches and this is going to be your repeat across the row. Let me go ahead and get all of these stitches in. So this section here will have a total of six stitches over those double crochets. And so to repeat we're going to work the braid, braided cable over the six stitches and then two double crochets and then one, 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 and one double crochet in the rest of those stitches. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. So this is what you should have after completing six rows. Now for row seven, we are actually going to be adding braids on the double crochet areas. And we're going to be adding a double crochet in between the braid or each, actually each new braid. So we're going to be adding a double crochet here and here in between the stitches. It's not going to be actually worked in the stitch. So let me go ahead and start this with you with a chain two, a double crochet in that first stitch. And we're going to go ahead and work the braid as usual. Skip two stitches and front post treble. In those next two stitches, working in front of those two stitches, you front post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped, making sure we go through all those loops and using both of those strands. All right, and then in the ne next two stitches, we work those last two treble crochets. Okay, so we've just completed the braid portion. Now we're going to work a double crochet in between this braid and the double crochet, just like that. Okay, and we're doing this because we're, this is going to be our increase here and here, but also when we work this braid, this is going to pull these stitches in a, in a bit, so um, that's why we're doing what we're doing now. Skip the next two stitches front post treble 
and the next two stitches working in front of those last two stitches we front post treble in those two stitches that we skipped and then again front post treble in those last two double crochets in this little section okay and now we work a double crochet in between the last stitch and the next stitch just right in that in between space just like that so you can see we're going to increase our uh, number of braids by 10 after this row so we should have 21 braids um, started after we complete this row. So let's go ahead and just repeat that all the way across, making sure that you're adding a new braid and a double crochet here and here in between on these double crochet areas. This is what you should have after completing seven rows. And as you see the new braids in between, so now if you count those, you should have a total of 21 braids with one double crochet in between each and on at the beginning and at the end of each row. All right, so now we're ready to move on to row number eight. And I have now added uh, my second balls of yarn to both of my strands. We're going to turn, chain two, work a double crochet in that first stitch and with the back side facing we're going to work the braid by skipping the next two stitches back post treble in these two stitches and working in front of those as seen from the front side back post treble in these two stitches and then in these two stitches I'm going to go ahead and do that so after working that braid section we come to the single double crochet that's in between the braids and we're going to work two double crochets in that stitch and that's going to be the repeat all the way across we're going to work the braided stitch the braided cable by skipping two uh, two back post trebles two back post trebles and then two back post trebles and then two double crochets worked in the next double crochet so go ahead and work that all the way across this is what you should have after completing eight rows now for row nine we are going to again go ahead and bring it to the center chain two double crochet in that first stitch after that first double crochet we're going to skip the next two stitches two front post trebles two front post trebles two front post trebles just the way we've been doing then we're going to work two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the second stitch so you will end up with three stitches and that's going to be your repeat all the way across this is what you should have after completing nine rows now for row number 10 we are not going to add in any increases this round or row rather we're going to chain two double crochet in that first stitch after that first double crochet we're going to work the braided cable by skipping two stitches back post treble and then working in front of these as seen from the front side back post treble over the two skip stitches and then back post treble over these stitches and then we're just going to work one double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches so go ahead and work that row and row 10 ends by working a double crochet in the last stitch and this is with the back side facing let's go ahead and turn and see what we have after 10 rows okay this is coming together quite nicely now for row 11 with the front side facing we're going to chain two double crochet in that first stitch we're going to work the braided um, cable the same as we've been doing skip two stitches two 
front post trebles and then working in front of those two front post trebles and then again the two one stitches that are hiding two front post trebles and then in the first of the double crochets we're going to work two double crochets and then one in each of the next stitch so that we're going to have two one and then one so that should be a, t a total of four double crochets in this section so go ahead and work that all the way across for row 11 and at the end of the row just work a double crochet in the last stitch of the row this is what you should have after completing 11 rows this is starting to get some size to it now for rows 12 and 13 Obviously row 12 will be worked with the back side facing and you'll be working back post trebles for the cables and row 13 will be with the front side facing working front post treble crochets for the braided sections. So now for the double crochet sections we're just going to work one double crochet in each of the four double crochets in between those braids. So again we're going to have two rows no increases we're just going to maintain the four double crochet stitches in between each of those cables so go ahead and work rows 12 and 13. this is the size once you have completed 13 rows the measure from the first row to the last row is approximately 10 and a quarter inch and so now i'm going to give you some directions for the next three rows. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start you on row 14. This is going to be with the back side facing you. We're going to chain two. Again, double crochet in that first stitch, just the way we've started all of these rows. And go ahead and work the braid over the next six stitches. Again, skipping two stitches back post treble over these two stitches and working in front of those as seen from the front side back post treble in these two stitches and then in these two and then I'll give you further instructions so after working over those six stitches of the braid we're going to work two double crochets in that first double crochet of that four grouping and then one in each of the next stitches okay so that should give you a total of one two three four five stitches in the double crochet area between the braids and so that is going to be your repeat working the braid over the six stitches the braided cable and then two double crochets one double crochet, one double crochet, and one double crochet all the way across. We end with a double crochet in the last stitch and turn. So go ahead and work row, this is actually row 14, and then I want you to work row 15 and 16 working in pattern stitch just like we've been doing. And as you work that pattern stitch, you're going to be working over five double crochets in between the cables. So make sure that you do not increase on rows 15 and 16, but only on row 14, okay? So go ahead and work rows 14 through 16. To start row 17, we're going to chain two. We're gonna work a double crochet in that first stitch. Now this row is gonna be a little bit different. We're going to discontinue the use of the braided stitch and we're going to do this by just working front post double crochets over each of those post stitches that make up the braided cables just work the front post double crochets straight across and you are going to have six of these for each of the braids Okay, so we're going to work over them just like this. And then when you get to the regular double crochets, just work in through the top loops. Just 
just the way we've been doing. So go ahead and work that all the way across. This row ends by working a double crochet in the last double crochet of the row. So now to start row 18, this is the next to the last row. We're going to chain one and working only in the back loops and make sure that you get both strands of the yarn. We're just going to work slip stitches all the way around. Now do make sure that you work this on the loose side because otherwise this may tighten this row up more than we want to. And if you need to, you can even upsize your hook to the next size up, which I think would be an M, which you might be fine with the size L. And so what we're, we're going to do here is our making this is called the low back ridge and it's going to make a nice border. Let me show you from the front. It's going to make a nice trim so that when we go back to the last row, which is going to be worked in the remaining loop, and I'll show you that a little better in a bit, uh, we're going to work the last final trim in that remaining loop, and it'll give it a nice edging uh, to kind of feature these two rows. All right, so go ahead and work these slip stitches all the way across. Now working the final row, we start with a chain one and we're going to be working in the loop, which is right back here, which is the remaining loop that we did not work in previously. So we're going to work a single crochet in that first stitch. Now working behind the braid, we're going to work a single crochet in that next stitch. After that single crochet, as we're working behind the braid, we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and working in the third loop. We'll try to point this out. Here's the loop. We're going to skip this loop and this loop, and then we're going to work in that next loop. And I've prepared my hook for a treble crochet. We're going to work three treble crochets. This is all worked in those same loop. After those three stitches, we're going to chain three. We're going to slip stitch in the first of those three chains. This makes the little pico. And then we're going to work three more treble crochets worked again, still working in that same loop. Okay, now we're going to skip the next stitch. So you can see we have two more stitches in the braid. We're going to skip the next stitch and then that last stitch, which is right behind the braid, we're going to work a single crochet. All right, now we're going to skip the next two stitches. One, two, again back here, one, two, and in the third stitch which is the center of those five double crochets, we're going to work the shell stitch with the pico again. Let's make sure that we get both. Yeah, we have both loops there. So we're going to work three treble crochets. three, slip stitch in the first of those three chains to make the pico, and then three more treble crochets. So let's pause and just take a look at these shells with the pico. And this is what we're going to work all the way across the row. So let's do the next one. Again, working behind, we're still working behind the five double crochets. We're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then 
the next stitch, which is behind the first braided stitch, work a single crochet. And then again, skip two, one, two stitches, work the next shell with the pico. That's three treble crochets. Let's go ahead and chain three, slip stitch in that first of the chains, and then three more treble crochets. All worked in that same loop. And, and again, the second part when you're working behind the braid, we just skip one stitch and then single crochet in the next. This is just to keep to keep the um, shells consistent so that you have a shell behind the braid and then a shell behind the five double crochet section. So go ahead and work that all the way across. At the end of the row, we're going to work a single crochet in the last stitch. So let me show you what you should have with this final border. All right, so now we're going to turn 90 degrees to work in the row ends. So I'm going to have you chain one and we're going to single crochet in the same place as the last stitch was made. And then working across the row ends, we're going to work two single crochets for every row end across as we go across this front. So go ahead and do that. Two single crochets in each row end. You want to do this so that it looks nice and even. So go ahead and work that all the way until you get to the first row end. You should have a total of 35 single crochets worked across those row ends. After we do that, we're going to chain one turn and working in the single crochets, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So go ahead and do that. Again, you'll have 35 stitches across this row. Okay, now we're going to make the buttonholes. So this is row three of the buttonhole side. We're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in each of the first three stitches. Now we're going to chain two, skip two stitches, and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. After crocheting those 12 single crochets, we're going to make another buttonhole by chaining two, skipping two stitches, and then we're going to single crochet again in the next 12 stitches. After working those 12 single crochets, chain two, skip two stitches, and we're going to single crochet in the last two stitches. I'll go ahead and try that. There we go. All right. So now you should have three buttonholes. Now, if you want to add additional buttonholes, you're free to do that. You just are going to have to rework the number of stitches in between the buttonholes, which is fairly easy to uh, figure out just using simple division. All right, so let's go ahead and turn with the back side facing us, chain one, and we're going to work a single crochet in each stitch across. And when you come to each buttonhole, we're simply going to work two single crochets in each of those buttonholes. 
Now one thing you want to do before completing the buttonhole rows is to be sure that the buttons that you have selected for your project will actually slip through the buttonhole. This one works no problem. But now if I had an even larger button, which is fine to use, um, let me get you the size on this one. So this is a one and a half inch buttons. Now if you have a button that's larger than this, you may need to make your buttons three stitches wide, which would just be a matter of skipping three stitches, chaining three in order to make those buttonholes. But just, just want to show you, just you want to be sure that your button will fit through the hole, um, but also you don't want it to be so loose that it will come undone. So don't make the buttonholes too, too loose. Usually just skipping two stitches with such a large hook will be plenty of space for most buttons. So go ahead and continue working this all the way across again working one single crochet in each stitch and when you come to the buttonholes just work two single crochets and one and just work a single crochet in each stitch all the way across and then fasten off at the end of this row okay i'm going to give you a small assignment as well so after you fasten off we're just going to join in the chain two space join with a slip stitch and we're going to work those single crochets down the row ends on the other side and again you should have 35 stitches just like on the other side and we're going to work five rows of single crochets all the way across and we're not going to have buttonholes on this side because this is where we're going to mount the buttons so go ahead and finish those five rows on the other side I have sewn my buttons into place. I have hidden all my loose strands. Let me just show you a better photo of this right here. I hope you enjoyed making the braided Christmas tree skirt with me today. If you did, I would love to hear from you. Please feel free to comment below. God bless. Bye-bye.